It makes my head spin. I mean, we've got to get angry and say no to all of this. But instead, corrupt government people from Hardin, Montana, to Austin, Texas, to big cities like New York City, to beyond, they're bought and paid for. That's why they're passing laws in Texas and in California and in Michigan saying you can't even have two neighbor kids over for breakfast or to even stand under your doorway in the snow. Even if the parents of the neighbors say yes, waiting for the bus, we're going to take your kids CPS. You can't sell eggs on the street corner. You can't have a garage sale. You can't do anything because you are a prisoner. Folks, America is now becoming a giant prison. They're openly announcing they're going to shut down the old web. They've openly handed over U.S. control to the U.N. of the Internet. I've got those headlines up. In fact, Google the term U.S. hands over control of Internet. And it, it's positive articles. Oh, wonderful. No, it's not wonderful. Now it's a total private corporation doing whatever it wants that was built with our tax money. The serving system, the, the, the domain system, not the physical grid. Obama openly announces he's taking over the Internet for your, quote, safety. But now they're openly saying they're beginning the phase out of the dollar. The world is moving out of dollars. They're not buying as much dollars. Do you understand how dark it is, how far down the line we are, how late it is? All right, let's go to Jeremy in Wisconsin. Jeremy, you're on the air. Welcome. Hi, Alex. How are you? Good, buddy. Um, well, just recently up here in uh, Milwaukee, there's been a lot of uh, uh, police activity in the city, which I kind of wanted to bring to attention. And uh, some other inf interesting facts of from somebody who had to go to an impact class about how they're going to set up breathalyzer checkpoints in the city that they've been planning for this. Yeah, that's right. But the feds say just to get you used to checkpoints like the airport, they're going to be in malls everywhere. And then if you say no to the Fourth Amendment violation, they're going to grab a needle out and start torturing you with it. And more interesting, uh, there's the downtown area is where all the restaurants and bars, and it's a pretty happening place where college students, whoever living downtown, go. And uh, I've been going. You want to hurt these bastards? Never use their prescription drugs. Never use their alcohol, or if you do, do it at home. Uh, don't look, they're the drug peddlers. And, and, and then cops and local governments have always run the whores and the drugs, and they only shut down who they don't like. Don't go down there, boycott it. Say, look, you bastards, look, you stinking parasites. You go ahead and set up your checkpoints. We're not going down there. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. Well, actually, I stopped going down there just because recently, uh, some of the places, favorite places to go. Uh, they've had hey, full, some of my full. favorite restaurants are on 6th Street. I don't go down there hardly ever like I used to, even though I don't drink. Rarely do I drink. The point is, I don't even go down there because I don't like their, I don't want to be around the steroid cops. So it can rot. It can fall. But they don't care. They're like, good, we'll just, we'll just come arrest you for your garage sale, Alex. We want slaves. <laughs> We've legalized slavery again. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Well, they're, they're coming right inside all the restaurants and bars, and they also have uh, their full dress. Sir, uniform. in Austin, they go in the Radisson Hotel, where a guy had three Miller lights watching the football game, uh, a, a commuter businessman, and they arrested him when he ordered the third Miller light in an hour. I know, they're just, it's total Soviet Union. Yeah, it is, it is. Because everyone likes to go for the Packer games, you know, and meet up together and go somewhere, or go to the stadium or Miller Park and, and go there. But they've been coming into every single place in the city, and... uh I'm trying to warn people that, uh, and I'm trying to get them a little more informed and in going <laughs> to, to listen to uh, other media outlets such as yours. But uh, <clears throat> hopefully this, you know, spreading this news around is going to help. <laughs> are you kidding? You better stop the checkpoints there or next. The feds are paying them just like they couldn't execute that guy in two hours because it wasn't a doctor, because doctors won't kill people because Hippocratic Oath at that execution you heard about. The cops, it's admitted because they've been doing it for 14 years in Arizona, they just start jamming needles in your arms. It's like it's fun for them. And, yeah, well, the, sorry. Just saying, well, the, the information I got came right from a police officer who teaches the alcohol assessment classes that someone had told me that they had go had go, have to go see twice a week. So I, I imagine that they're actually going to be implementing this pretty soon here. Cause they're, yeah, they're the bragging. only answer, the problem is if you don't drink or do anything, they still make other stuff illegal. That's why they're making homeschooling illegal, taking care of your neighbor's kids illegal, growing a garden illegal, because they're like, God, we want to arrest these slaves. Man, we want to beat them over the head. How do we do it? 
We've got to get more money. See, the big banks set up the system, and the locals suck the money out of you, so they hire thugs to carry it out. Are you tired of losing your hard-earned savings in retirement? Does the continued loss of purchasing power through the hidden tax of inflation brought on by trillions of dollars in government bailouts bother you? Then please let me, Dwayne Daly, with Midas Resources, help you to protect what you have left. Call me at 800-686-2237, extension 115, and I will explain to you how to retain your wealth and purchasing power now and in the future with gold and silver. Gold and silver have been a form of currency for 6,000 years compared to our present fiat currency, which has only been in existence for 38 years and failing fast. Call me, Dwayne Daly, at 800-686-2237, extension 115, to start your protection of wealth today. I will custom fit the protection package to your personal needs. No amount is too small, so start today. Call Dwayne Daly with Midas Resources at 800-686-2237, extension 115, for your gold and silver protection portfolio. Freedom is total government. Freedom is no freedom. That's what Uncle Sam says. Look at these. It says, in government we trust, slavery, 2010, with Obama with a Che Guevara hat on. You got to love that. And there's another one that says, caution, new world order ahead. Potential hazards include military draft, World War III, forced vaccinations. This sign's been out for years. Now notice it's all happening. Prison industrial complex, elite controlled depopulation. Smart little ideas folks have for getting the word out. There's my little... I'm glad this is only gold-plated, though, to show how phony it is. It would be too honorable to make an actual coin of Obama. North American Union, $1. No, it, it, it is corporate communism where the, 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 the profits are given to them and we pay for it all. Let's jam in Shelly in Texas and a few others. Shelly, you're on the air. Welcome. Hi, Alex. Thank you. Um, I've, I could sit up here for hours with you, but I've got a couple of questions if you can please answer. Sure, I'll try. Um, the last... The last thing I heard you say in regards to the troops that have been deployed to to uh, patrol the states, uh, the, I'm sorry, the um, the streets of the U.S. was 379,000. Um, is that are, are they are are where are they moving to? I'm in Houston, so I'm I'm looking at like how soon can I expect them here? And my second question is, um, my son is four, and I wish I would have you know held off and and kept him out of school. But I enrolled him in pre-K, and, you know, his teacher even told me that, yeah, they're supposed to call the public officials, but what can I actually do as far as taking him out of school and making sure that he doesn't get the, vac the vaccine? Well, no, you just say to the health department or to the school nurse, just matter of fact, they'll lie because they get money if they get everybody to be vaccinated, like 97% is the number, target number to get the federal funds. Say, oh, yeah, I need that vaccine exemption form. And they'll, they'll, they'll try to say, well, why are you exempt? As if you're dumb. See, government's all about lying and deceiving, and then they've got info you don't have. And you need to just say, listen, it's a civil rights violation for you to not give me that waiver form. I don't even need the waiver. It's a waiver for a policy. And once you have the waiver form, you're fine. You send it into the health department. Now, they do list you like Jews had to wear yellow stars. They do put you in a database. But that's how they'll leave you alone at the school. But the criminals... Will, in every case we've seen, try to not give it to you, proving they're criminals. Uh, but uh, as for troops, all we know is the Pentagon has deployed 40,000 troops in the U.S. for Brigade Homeland. First it was 4,000, then it was 20, now it's 40. A few months ago, it was in AP and the Progressive. It's in the new film, uh, Fall the Republic, that they went to the Pentagon, the Pentagon went to Congress and requested, this is in congressional testimony, the funding for 379,000 troops that they want to deploy over the next year inside the United States to, quote, combat gun owners, veterans, uh, libertarians, you know, they list. They said threats to the homeland, and then we have the DHS report that lists those. So, yes, it's really happening. Right. But but first it'll be oh we're just out helping at car wrecks oh we're helping at the sports stadium oh we're we're just out here directing traffic ma'am it's all the condition everybody including the troops and then all the old drunks that you know they'll come out and go what are you some kind of commie 
You know, they don't care if the troops get their medical care cut. They don't care if they're dying of vaccines. They don't really care about the troops. They just want to get drunk and call on the talk radio and go, shut that Alex Jones up. We need troops in America. He hates the military. God bless you, man. Any, uh, anything else, uh, Shelly? No, thank you for everything you're doing. Thank you. Patty, Ken, Nick, you tell them tomorrow that you were on yesterday. I'll go to the head of the line. I want to hear what you have to say, but we're out of time right now. Retransmission, totally jam-packed. Coming up right now, we had the lady on who's told she's not allowed to keep the neighbor kids at the bus stop. That's coming up in the next hour, Infowars.com on the audio streams. Pre-order, fall the republic now, so you get it first at Infowars.com. Great job, crew.